guys it's rebecca welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure to definitely subscribe in today's video i'm doing the long awaited video and i'm showing you guys all of my top favorite curly hair products my favorite shampoo deep conditioners leave conditioners creams gels jellies all of that I have right here and I'm about to show you guys all of them. Before I show you guys my favorite products, I just wanted to do a little disclaimer and I get a bunch of questions asking, do I really like this product? Does this product actually work if I do sponsored content? And yes, I'm going to be doing sponsored posts and you guys have seen me do sponsored posts before. Just because it's sponsored doesn't mean it's fake. I would never lie about a product and promote it to you guys and say that I use it if I don't. Just wanted to say that because it's very heartening when I get a DM asking someone if I truly use these products or if i'm like pretending i'm gonna say that before i show you guys my favorite hair products first product is probably my most expensive product and that is my function of beauty shampoo so a couple months ago i did a partnership with function of beauty to formulate it to however you want so obviously this is going to be one of my favorites if i have a custom formula made for it i actually still have the paper that came with it that explained what i have so for my shampoo my profile was curly medium thickness dry hair my goals were anti frizz curl definition replenish hair soothe scalp and strengthen so i really like the shampoo because there's oils in it which is super moisturizing for my scalp and this is what i have in my shower because i have two bottles of these ones in my shower and it has oils i can tell i can definitely tell it has tea tree oil or peppermint oil because it's very tingly and it cleanses really well and function of beauty is on the expensive side but if you want a custom formula for just your hair then i definitely recommend my second favorite shampoo is is the Camille Rose Naturals Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse with Castor and Aniseed Oil. This shampoo is so good. I remember when I did a review on this and you can see like I haven't used it at all. I've only used it a couple of times because I forget I have this product because I have my function of beauty in the shower. This is amazing. I love this shampoo so much because it cleanses so, so, so well. Plus it has castor oil in it, which helps with hair growth. So if you're looking for a really good shampoo that's moisturizing and doesn't strip your hair, I recommend this one. Another shampoo that I recommend that I don't have because I ran out of it is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening Shampoo. I'll put it right here. I love the shampoo and castor oil is the main ingredient. It's the style of the product. That's what inspired it. So I'm telling you, I promise you, it will help with hair growth. And it's an amazing sulfate-free shampoo. All those three shampoos are sulfate-free and they're affordable. So I'm not doing conditioners because I really don't have a favorite conditioner. I have more deep conditioners than regular conditioners. And right now in my shower, I have the Aussie Miracle Moist, the avocado conditioner, because I'm testing that one out. I've been using it for almost a month now and I am really pleased with it. I haven't seen a difference with my hair because it does have silicone in there, but it's not like full of silicone, so I really haven't seen a negative difference. So I guess that could be one of my favorites right now. Now on to deep conditioners. My all-time favorite deep conditioners, I narrowed it down to two. That's how you know they're that good. The first one, of course, is the Camille Rose Naturals Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Cocoa and Mango Butter Hair Mask. This deep conditioner is so, 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 so good. I'm almost out of it. It definitely feels a lot lighter, which makes me so sad. It just smells so good and it works so good. But the thing is, you don't want to constantly use the same product. So this is why I have a second favorite. And I usually switch between these two when I'm not doing Mask Mondays, trying new deep conditioners. I 10 out of 10 recommend this. My second top favorite deep conditioner is the BioCare Labs Conditioning Repair Mask from their Curls and Naturals line. I love this deep conditioner. This is actually my second container of this. You can see it's almost empty and it smells really good. You can definitely smell the oils. It just smells so, so, so good. And I love this because it's extremely moisturizing and conditioning. I could skip conditioner and just use this in the shower and it has really good slip, which is good for detangling. So I like to detangle with this, use it in the shower and I like to use this as a deep conditioner. Another plus is you can leave it in your hair for just five minutes. You don't have to do the 20 minutes. That's why I like using it in the shower because you can put it on detangle leave it on for five minutes while you're finishing up your shower and then rinse it out and you're already deep conditioned on to leave-in conditioners now my first one is the curls blueberry bliss reparative leave-in conditioner this one is my top favorite because it is extremely moisturizing and it has really good slip so i can spread it throughout my hair easily without having to use a lot and you guys can see how much i've used it's basically empty which makes me really sad because it's so good and all of these products almost all of them are completely 100 natural 
this is for sure and i just really like a blueberry bliss line for my hair in general next is the briani moisture milk this isn't so much a leave-in this could be used as a hair cream i like to use it as both but it doesn't really give you the definition a cream would it gives you the definition like a regular leave-in conditioner would but this is amazing i didn't even know briani was a brand until i was going to do a sponsorship with them i did a couple months ago and i will definitely be doing one again because these products are amazing i rave about these products constantly i always recommend these products because they're affordable they're moisturizing and they smell so 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 good moving on to hair creams the first cream i'm going to show you guys is the camille rose curl love moisture milk with rice milk and macadamia oil so this is like the briani moisture milk they're both hair milks but this one is a lot thicker and this can be considered a cream because of how thick it is this helps to define my curls and it's so moisturizing this is what i could use to apply it to my hair throughout the week just to keep it moisturized and it's amazing you can see i only have used this much i don't want to use it all because i don't want to run out but i keep using it because it is so good and it is so worth it the next cream is an actual real cream and it is the trey Lux curl supreme four in one hydrating cream i recently started using this a lot more as you guys can see it's kind of getting empty which makes me sad it smells so good and it's so moisturizing and it defines my curls so well this can definitely be a one product washing though and it's affordable i know you can get this from walgreens or the trailux website so you guys should definitely check it out it's really good if you have dry hair and you don't want to put gel in your hair and you just want to use a cream the next product is from Cantu and it is the TXTR by Cantu for curls and coils defying curl cream so Cantu has different lines they just came out with two new lines the avocado line and the flaxseed line and this is their TXTR line and I got these at Ulta it was $4.97 I believe at Ulta they're always having sales this cream I was kind of like skeptical about trying it because when I went on YouTube to look on reviews see what other people used I really only saw one review and she did not have the same hair type as me so I was like uh, I don't know if this is gonna work but I really like this because it's 16 fluid ounces for under five dollars and this cream is just very moisturizing and I have such defined curls when I use this cream and my hair is moisturized to where this can also be a one product wash and go and the cream is a very light consistency compared to their regular Cantu line that cream is way thicker than this and it feels more moisturizing but this is also very moisturizing and it gives me that light airy curls that i really like now i'm on the last couple products i will be showing you guys it's the most products it's one two three four four products i'm going to be showing you guys and it is gels and my custards jellies whatever you want to call them the first product is the curls the ultimate Stein collection bean control curl sculpting gel so this is a gel meant specifically for wash and goes that's why i like it so much because i live in wash and goes wash and goes are what i do every time i wash my hair i really fell in love with this gel also another thing that i love about it is the citrusy smell i don't know what makes it citrusy but i love citrus scent so i really like this it gives me enough hold i could use this by itself because it is moisturizing and it's natural it doesn't contain bad ingredients and it works really well for my washing goes the next product is my miss jessie's coily custard you guys could probably guess that this was coming i really like this product because it's perfect to refresh and you guys will see my refresh routine i'm not sure if it's out yet if it's out it'll be up here if not subscribe to my channel turn on the bell to stay tuned when i post my refresh routine because this is what I use for it. I use this for my wash and goes, yes, but to refresh my wash and goes, this is perfect because it honestly dries really fast and it dries with a cast, which is perfect, perfect, perfect for refreshing. It gives me that hold I need to keep my curls intact for the rest of the week. The next product is a custard as well, and it is the Biocat Labs Curl Defining Custard from their Curls and Natural Design. And just look at how empty this is. Like, it's empty. I don't even have, like, one full wash and go left, so I'm trying to save onto this. But, yeah, I love this cream because I could use this product by itself. It could be a one-product wash and go, and it's kind of crazy because it's a custard. But if you think about it, it's a moisturizing custard. It contains shea butter, honey, oils. If you're looking for a one-product wash and go, this could also be. What I also like is it's very versatile. I did my mini braids, my cornrows. The last product I'll be showing you is also from one of my favorite brands, and it is the Camille Rose Curl Maker with Marshmallow and Agave Leaf 
extract. You guys have definitely seen this product at Target somewhere. This product is something once you try, you'll either love it or hate it. At first, I hated it, not gonna lie, because I didn't know how to use it. When you find the right amount for your hair, because you can't apply too much and not enough, you need to find that in between. It can be very moisturizing, give your curls the hold and definition that it needs to last you the week. The only con to this, this is actually the most expensive out of all of these. I apologize for that. I think it's like $20. And at Target, I think it's like $22. $2. It's very expensive, but if you have that type of money to spend on a hair product, then I definitely, definitely recommend it. So those are all of my top favorite hair products. If you guys ever ask me for recommendations, those would be the products I recommend to people. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have some similar favorite curly hair products or if you don't like some of my favorite curly hair products and let me know why and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to follow my Instagram at curls with Becca. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.